Today we are going to talk about pneumatic systematic compression hosiery. I'm just highlighting now on group two. Let's go. Um, so when we talk about pneumatic compression hosiery, we're talking about a, a device which is a vest. There are three parts of the device. There is the Velcro vest or Velcro sleeve. There is the, the tubing and then the device itself for controller or the controllers or the joysticks if you, you so please. Now, what they do or who they are indicated for. They are indicated for people who are going to be sedentary for a long time. So usually um, people who have just had surgery, people who have strokes who are going to be in bed for a long time, those people are going to need the compression therapy, systematic compression therapy in the hospital, during their stay in the hospital. And even post um, hospital stay, when they are going to be uh, like, in a wheelchair for some time they can if they have money they can afford their own or they can use another type of compression called the TED stockings which is um, thrombo and embolitic deterrent stockings um, okay so how does this device work the, the velcro sleeve when it's attached to the extremities be it the legs or the arms it provides a compression of course but the compression is rhythmic that's why the term sequential comes in. So it can be six, between 20 to 60 seconds of compression and then relaxation. And this sort of like massages, it massages your extremity to aid in proper blood flow. Why do we need proper blood flow? We need proper blood flow to prevent DVT from forming. And when DVT forms, DVT stands as short term for deep vein thrombosis. It's when there's a large clot that develops in the big um, veins or big arteries of your leg and when they can travel when they are dislodged and they travel they get into the chest it's called PE which is a um, pulmonary embolism this is a life-threatening condition and it's a common complication for patients who've had surgery and are going to be bedridden for a while so it's important that we do thrombo um, we do the compression therapy right after surgery for patients so in the next shot we are going to show how to assist patients to put on their, uh, their um, compression stockings or their compression hosiery come in hello madam how are you doing today okay, okay. so i'm about to put uh, a compression stocking on your leg but before that i would have to measure your leg to know if the size is okay Do, are you okay with that Sorry, this is going to be a bit uncomfortable. One. Okay. Once I get my device, I don't have the actual device, so I made a makeshift one. And then you put it underneath the patient's leg gently. And then you attach it's to the velcro in this my situation we are going to tuck it underneath the leg uh, we connected the device to the interface over here and then we turn it on now now you're supposed to stay in the room for the first cycle to okay the first cycle okay it would go between 60 to 90 minutes and one cycle is when there is compression and then relaxation. Why we stay is to ask, to make sure the patient is comfortable with the level of tightness. If the patient feels any pain, you have to stop, wait a bit, and then try again. If there's pain again, you have to contact your doctor or a senior nurse. Thank you.